Hamster videos on TikTok just got to they just got to stop. <laughs> because I'm going to end up with a series. So after I did my last video talking about if hamsters learn to scream or not, after a week of that video being up, I got a bunch of comments asking, can hamsters hibernate? And I was like, that's weird. That's suspicious. And then I found out there was a TikTok going around that said hamsters go into hibernation. So this is the TikTok that essentially got popular and it does say in the caption well found out hamsters go into hibernation i thought that beep was dead so this made me want to talk about hamsters and hibernation and before i get started on talking about it i do want to clarify that hibernation and torpor are a very confusing and complicated topic and i'm just going to talk about the basics that i've learned there are actually different types of hibernation. So I can get if somebody just uses the word hibernation in general and then people get confused about it. Because when you hear the word hibernation, you automatically think about the animals who during warm months, they eat a bunch and they get like all fat. And then throughout all the winter months, they just sleep through it. And that is what you assume when you hear hibernation. So when somebody says hamsters go into hibernation, I think that is what a lot of people think. So there are different types of hibernation. There is true hibernation, and this involves the animal's body temperature being lowered, its heart rate being lowered, and its breathing levels being lowered. This allows the animal to conserve energy when there is food shortages during winter because it's a lot harder for animals to find food in the winter than it is summer. And this allows the animal to eat a lot in warm months, and then when cool months come, they go into hibernation and they actually don't have to eat at all because they have all that energy saved up that can get them through the long cold winter months. Groundhogs are actually a really good example of a true hibernator. And then there is brumation and this is a hibernation like state except for reptiles and amphibians. And you'll often hear bearded dragon owners talking about brumation. Brumation for reptiles and amphibians happens when there is cooler temperatures as well as shortened daylight hours and they can still get up to get drinks of water but then they go right back into that state. And then there's torpor. Torpor also involves the animal to have a lowered body temperature but not quite as low as a true hibernator and this allows the animal to survive any unfavorable environmental conditions. Torpor lasts for very short periods of time and this allows the animal to still be able to forage for food and eat, unlike a true hibernator who doesn't eat at all through the really cold months. So when we're talking about hamsters and hibernation, we are talking about hamsters going into torpor. Keep in mind, hamsters will go into torpor in order to survive unfavorable conditions, which can not only include colder temperatures, but it can also occur if there is a shortage in food and water, as well as shortened daylight hours. That being said, it would have to be very, very cold in your home for your hamster to actually go through torpor. And most of the time, most homes stay above 60 degrees Fahrenheit, unless you just don't have heating or maybe your heating possibly broke. But the optimal temperatures for a hamster should stay between 65 and 75 degrees. A hamster who is in torpor can honestly look like a hamster who just died in their nest when that's not the case. A hamster in torpor, you can often see their whiskers twitch. If you look at them for a really long period of time, you can also sometimes see them very, very slowly breathing. They are going to be cold and limp, which is why a lot of people think they've died. But also keep in mind a hamster who has died is going to go through a process called rigor mortis. Now, rigor mortis happens when the cells in the muscle fibers die because the animal has died, and then that causes the body to stiffen up. And this, on average, takes about two to four hours. So a hamster who has gone stiff is a hamster who has passed. If you've indeed found your hamster and they appear to be in torpor, it is really important that we extremely slowly warm them back up. If done so too quickly, you can actually warm the blood before the heart is ready and you can actually send your hamster into heart failure a couple hours later. 
So you're gonna wanna start by syringe feeding your hamster electrolytes. This can easily be made with warm water, sugar, and salt, or if you have unflavored Pedialyte, that can also work as well, just as long as you warm it up. So you're gonna wanna start by syringe feeding your hamster this, and this basically helps warm the body from the inside. This can be done once every one to two minutes for half an hour, and once the hamster starts to come out of torpor, they are going to appear very wobbly, unsteady, or very slow. Don't worry, eventually they will get back to normal. I do also wanna mention that a hamster who is cold, limp, and very slowly breathing could also just be a hamster in the process of dying. If there aren't any factors that could cause torpor, then it's not likely to be torpor. The original TikTok uploader actually made a second video to give an update on the hamster and they ended up passing away. So there's no way for sure to say whether or not they were actually in torpor or if they were just in the process of dying. Torpor is something that we don't want our hamsters to go through. It is very hard on their little bodies and they only do this to survive unfavorable environmental conditions. I did see somebody tell me that there was possibly a trend of people trying to put their hamsters into hibernation. I didn't see it myself on TikTok, so I can't say for sure, but don't do that. Don't try to put your hamster into torpor. A hamster who is left in torpor for long periods of time can either die from hypothermia or either starvation or dehydration. So to prevent a hamster from going into torpor, it's good to ensure that we keep them at their optimal temperatures as well as we allow them to have access to food and water and you're not like starving them to death. So hopefully this was able to clear that up and I hope I don't have to make any more videos about TikToks, but I feel like that's, it's probably gonna happen again. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Short, short. Hamsters will go into, tor is it getting too bright? Pick a time, stay or leap. Oh my gosh, can we not blast the exposure at me? That's so rude.